All right. So, to work these three problems, we need to figure out the reference angles first. Once we figure out the reference angle, then we write down the point associated with the reference angle. You have that ordered pair. You use the facts about the unit circle and the six trig functions. All right. So the first problem, the sine of 2 pi over 3. Now, where is 2 pi over 3? Sometimes students have problems figuring that out. Remember, we have pi over 2 up here, pi right here, 3 pi over 2 here, 0 or 2 pi here. All right, so that's all in radians. Um, what you can do is just look at the fraction part. And so, you see, this is like 1 pi right here. And this is like one half pi right here. So two thirds is between one and one half. So that's why we know it's in the second quadrant. If changing this over to degrees helps you out, you know, at first you could do that. Just change them all to degrees and work it that way. But you do need to get familiarized enough that you can work the radians as well. So you plug 180 in for pi, and you'd have. 2 times 180 divided by 3, I think that's 120 degrees. So this is the same as the sine of 120 degrees. If you need to work it out that way, that's fine. But I'm going to stick with the radians just to get practice. All right, so we need to figure out the reference angle for 2 pi over 3. So we're going to use this formula right here, pi minus theta, because we're in the second quadrant. So we say pi minus theta equals 2 pi over 3. So solve for theta. Subtract pi from both sides. And so I have negative theta equals. Now, you do need to get a common denominator if you can't do fractions in your head. Uh, 1 pi is the same as 3 pi over 3. Right? 3 over 3 is 1. So 1 pi is the same as 3 pi over 3. So if we're subtracting that, we say 2 pi over 3 minus 3 pi over 3, we get negative 1 pi over 3. And then divide both sides by negative 1. So we get the reference angle is pi over 3. Now, which point do we associate that with? 60 degrees, pi over 3, so that's the point. 1 half square root of 3 over 2. Alright, now, we know that the answer is in the second quadrant, so the answer is positive, and sine is equal to the y-coordinate. The y-coordinate is the square root of 3 over 2. So the sine of 2 pi over 3 is square root of 3 over 2. That's our answer. Alright, cosine of 240 degrees we need to figure out the reference angle. Where is 240 degrees located in our reference angle chart? Third quadrant. Because if the negative y-axis, we associate that with 270 degrees, and the negative x-axis is associated with 180 degrees, we know 240 is between 180 and 270. So we're right here, third quadrant. So we want to use these formulas. So 180 degrees plus theta equals 240 degrees. Solve for theta, and that will be our reference angle. So what I get, theta equals 60 degrees. That's the same point that we just had. That's 1 half square root of 3 over 2. Now, if we're in the third quadrant, will a cosine of something be positive or negative in the third quadrant? Negative. So we know because tangent and cotangent are the only two that are positive in the third quadrant. So our answer is going to be negative and now x coordinate. One half. So the cosine of 240 degrees is negative one half. All right, our third problem here, 
tangent of 3 pi over 4. So we need to figure out where or which quadrant is 3 pi over 4 in. That's right, the second quadrant. Again, think about the fraction part. We have 1 half pi and 1 pi. 3 fourths pi, 3 fourths is between 1 half and 1. So that's how we know it's there. While we're there, is our answer going to be positive or negative? Negative. And now let's figure out the reference angle. So we need to use the formula pi minus theta. So pi minus theta equals 3 pi over 4. And let's solve for theta. So I'm going to subtract pi from both sides. Again, you need to get a common denominator. So 1 pi is the same thing as 4 over 4 times pi. And I got, I got the same denominator as I had there. So that's a common denominator. And I am subtracting, so it's minus. So 3 pi over 4 minus 4 pi over 4 is going to be what? Negative 1 pi over 4. And that was a negative theta. So divide both sides by negative 1. And we get our reference angle. Pi over 4. All right, which point do we associate with pi over 4? Square root of 2 over 2, square root of 2 over 2. Tangent is y divided by x. So that's going to be 1. We had a negative there. So the tangent of 3 pi over 4 is negative 1.